Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss product rule of derivatives. Okay, but before we proceed for the product rule of derivatives, so recall muna natin yung mga basic uh, basic rules of derivatives. First, uh, the constant rule. So, if f of x is equal to c, then the derivative is equal to 0. The power rule, so if your f of x is equal to x raised to n, then the derivative is n times x raised to n minus 1. The constant multiple rule, if f of x is equal to c times h of x, so where c is a constant, then the derivative is equal to c times the derivative of h of x or h prime of x. The derivative of a sum or a difference, so if your f of x is equal to g of x plus minus h of x, then the f prime of x is equal to g prime of x plus minus h prime of x. And also, we have the derivative of sine and cosine functions. So if, if of, uh, f of x is equal to sine x, so the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. And if your f of x is cosine x, then the derivative is negative sine x. So we also have the derivative of exponential and logarithmic functions. So if your f of x is equal to e raised to x, then the e prime of x is equal to e raised to x. So same lang po sila, no? Walang pagbabago. And if your f of x is equal to a raised to x, then f prime of x or the derivative of f of x is equal to a raised to x ln a where a is greater than 0. And then if your f of x is equal to ln x, so when say ln, it's the natural logarithm, then the f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. So tatandaan natin no, yung mga derivatives nila. Kasi is gagamitin nyo dun sa mga susunod na example. And last, if f of x is equal to the logarithm of x, okay, with the base of a, then f prime of x is equal to 1 over x times ln a, where a is greater than 0. So, product rule. So, if we're going to multiply f of x times g of x, then we're going to find the derivative. So, that is f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Or, so, sa ibang libro, ito yung ginagamit nilang formula. dy over dx is equal to u times dv over dx plus v times du over dx. So, yung dv over dx, that is the derivative of v. Yung du over dx naman, that is the derivative of u. So, for example, meron tayong y is equal to the quantity of 3x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 3x. So, let's say ito yung gagamitin nating uh, formula. First, so itong unang ano natin, uh, factor, that is our f of x, and that is 3x squared minus 4. So, after nyan, kukunin natin yung derivative niya. Okay. So, yung derivative nito, so we have exponent na 2. So, i-multiply natin dito sa constant natin. So, 2 times 3, that is 6x. So, ito yung ma-minus natin yung exponent. So, 2 minus 1, that is 1 na lang. So, the derivative of 3x squared minus 4 is 6x. And, yung pangalawang factor, that is x squared minus 3x. So, that is g of x. Then, kukunin natin yung derivative ng g of x. And that is, so, x squared, so, meron tayong exponent na 2. So, 2 times x, so, that is 2x minus 3. Okay, so, that is g prime of x is equal to 2x minus 3. And then, susundan lang natin ito. Okay, so, yung product nito. Okay, then, uh, we just follow the formula. So, f of x, so, ito yun, 3x squared minus 4. I-multiply natin sa g prime of x and that is 2x minus 3 plus 
So g of x is x squared minus 3x times if uh, the uh, derivative of f of x or the f prime of x which is 6 x okay and then we're going to multiply so 3x squared minus 2x that is 6x cubed 3x squared times negative 3 that is negative 9x squared negative 4 times 2x that is negative 8x negative 4 times neg uh, negative 3 that is positive 12 and this one imo multiply natin doon so x squared times 6x that is 6x cubed Negative 3x times 6x, that is negative 18x squared. And then, we're going to combine the similar terms. Okay, so we're going to combine the similar terms. So, 6x cubed plus 6x cubed, that is 12x cubed. Negative 9x squared minus 18x squared, that is negative 27x squared. And then, copy negative 8x, copy positive 12. So, Ito na yung final answer natin. So, 12x cubed minus 27x squared minus 8x plus 12. And then, kapag ito yung ginamit nating formula, so, if we're going to use this formula, so, paano natin gagawin? So, yung unang factor, that is our u, that is 3x squared minus 4, and then, kukunin natin yung derivative ng u natin. So, same process, no? 2 times 3, 6, and then, isa-subtract natin yung exponent. So, 6x. So, that is the derivative ng u natin. And then, yung second factor natin, x squared minus 3x. That's our uh, v. And then, get the derivative of v. So, x squared minus 3x. So, 2 times x. That is 2x minus 3. And then, uh, we're going to substitute. Okay, we're just following this formula. Substitute lang natin. So, our u here is 3x squared minus 4. And then, we're going to multiply to the derivative of v, which is 2x minus 3. So, parang cross multiplication na yung gagawin natin. Okay, we're going to multiply this plus the product nito. Okay, so 3x squared minus 4 times 2x minus 3 plus x squared minus 3x times 6x. So, babalik din tayo dito, makukuha rin natin yung same na sagot. So, pareho lang sila ng sagot. So, kahit alin dito sa dalawang formula, ay pwede natin gamitin. So, again, so kapag nakikita natin, let's say, f prime of x or dy over dx, y prime, or yung d sub x, ay pare-parehas lang yan. Na ibig sabihin, that is the derivative of the functions. Okay, another example, f of x is equal to 4x minus 3 times 2x plus 5. So, first factor, we have 4x minus 3. So, this is our u. So, we're going to identify our first factor. Uh, that is our u, 4x minus 3. And then, get the derivative of u. And that is 4. So, 4x minus 3 and derivative ng 4x minus 3 is 4. And then, the second factor is 2x plus 5. Uh, the derivative of 2x plus 5, that is 2. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, so, i-cross-multiply lang natin plus nung product nito. So, 4x, 4x minus 3 times 2 plus 2x plus 5 times 4. And then, we're going to multiply 4x minus 3 dito kay 2. So, that is 4x times 2, 8x. For uh, negative 3 times 2, that is negative 6. Plus 2x times 4, that is 8x. And 2x times uh, positive 5 times 4, that is positive 20. And then, let us combine similar terms. So, 8x plus 8x. So, that is 16x. Negative 6 plus 20, that is positive 14. Another example, we have uh, f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 times 3x squared minus 4. So, laging tatandaan kung ito yung gagamitin natin, yung unang factor natin, siya yung u. And then, yung pangalawang factor, siya yung v natin. So, yung u natin dito is 3x squared minus 5x plus 1. And then, kukunin natin yung derivative ng u. So, 
yung exponent natin dito is 2. I-multiply natin dito kay 3. So, that is 6x and then minus 5. And then, yung V natin, yung pangalawang factor. So, 3x squared minus 4. So, kukunin natin yung derivative ng V. So, that is 2 times 3. That is 6x. Kasi, uh, di ba, minamainus natin yung exponent sa 1. So, magiging 1 na lang to. So, 6x. And then, uh, using the formula, so, cross multiply na. So, 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 times 6x plus uh, 6x minus 5 times 3x squared minus 4. Okay, then multiply. So, 3x squared times 6x, that is 18x cubed, negative 5x times 6x, negative 30x squared, Neg uh, positive 1 times 6x, that is positive 6x, plus 3x squared times 6x, that is 18x cubed, 3x squared times negative 5, that is negative 15x squared, negative 4 times 6x, that is negative 24x, negative 4 times negative 5, that is positive 20. And then, combine similar terms. 18x cubed plus 18x cubed, that is 36x cubed. Negative 30x squared minus 15x squared, that is negative 45x squared. Copy, uh, yes, 6x minus 24x, that is negative 18x. And then, uh, copy positive 20. So, this is our final answer. Okay, for example number 4, f of x is equal to x times E raised to x. So, we have an exponential here. So, ano yung u natin? So, yung u natin dito, yung x. And then, what is the derivative ng u? So, kapag x na lang, so that is 1. Diba? And then, uh, yung v natin, e raised to x, exponential yan. So, kung kukunin natin yung derivative ng e raised to x, same pa rin. Okay? Diba na-discuss ko kanina sa first slide? Na kapag kukunin natin yung derivative ng e raised to x, same pa rin na e raised to x. And then, we just follow the formula. So, i-multiply natin si x dito plus yung product nito. So, that is x times e raised to x plus e raised to x times 1. So, x times e raised to x, that is uh, x e raised to x plus... Uh, e raised to x times 1, that is e raised to x. And for example number 5, we have x squared or f of x is equal to x squared times ln x. So, isa-isahin natin. So, yung u natin dito, yung x squared. So, if we're going to get the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And then, yung ln x natin, that is our v. So, kung kukunin natin yung derivative ng ln x, that is 1 over x. So, multiply x squared times 1 over x. Okay, plus ln x times 2x. So, x squared times 1 over x. So, sa so x squared, ita times natin kay 1. That is x squared over x. Plus 2x times ln x. So, wala tayong dito pwede makakancel, no? Kasi magkaiba sila. So, 2x ln x. So, ito, pwede natin i-divide. So, x squared divide x. So, ang maiwan na lang ay x na lang. Plus 2x ln x. So, this will be the final answer. And for example, number 6. x cubed cosine x. So, yung u natin dito is yung x cubed. And then, kapag kukunin natin yung derivative ng x cubed, that is 3x squared. And then, yung v natin, yung cosine x. So, ano yung derivative ng cosine x? That is negative sine x. And then, follow the formula. So, x cubed times negative sine x plus cosine x times 3x squared. So, that is negative x cubed sine x plus 3x squared cosine x. And for the last example, we have sine x over x. So, as you can see, class, hindi naka... Uh, multiply, no? Ang sine x, naka-divide sa uh, x. So, this one, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite. So, yung x natin, pwede natin ilagay dito. So, i-multiply natin si sine x 
as kay 1 over x kasi yung di ba kapag nagdi-divide tayo, we can proceed to multiplication and get the reciprocal of our denominator. So maging sine x times 1 over x. Since uh, yung x natin nasa denominator, pwede natin to iangat, di ba? Paano? So magiging ano siya? Sine x times x raised to negative 1. Okay, so magiging negative yung exponent natin. So mula dito, so may product na tayo. So ito yung magiging u natin. Ang u natin is sine x. So kung kukunin natin yung derivative ng sine x, that is cosine x. And then yung pangalawa, yung v natin, yung x raised to negative 1. Kung kukunin natin yung derivative ng x raised to negative 1, so negative 1 times x, that is negative x. So negative 1 minus 2, that is x raised to negative 2. Or ito class, pwede natin ibaba kasi negative yung exponent natin. Parang uh, mula, gagawin natin ganito. Okay? So, maging 1 or negative 1 over x squared. So, imumultiply na natin ngayon. So, sine x times negative 1 over x squared plus x raised to negative 1 times cosine x. So, si x raised to negative 1, pwede natin siyang isulat as 1 over x. So, sine x times negative 1 over x squared, that is negative sine x over x squared. 1x times cosine x, that is cosine x over x. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.